Welcome everyone to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Doris Burke. Also joining us from the sidelines, David Aldridge. We've got the Los Angeles Lakers taking on the Boston Celtics. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. James is out there with Bryant. Then there's West. Then it's Magic Johnson. And it's Shaq in at the five down low. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. But I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Here's Kobe. Makes it off the glass. Kobe, such body control from Bryant. Able to take some hits there on the way up. Pass to McHale. Over LeBron. That one rolling around and rims out. You know, the right thing there to try to fade away with the D all over him, but that is a difficult shot to see. Kobe passes to West. Over Russell. And there's West. That good on the assist by Bryant. And, and how about the lift? West gets on his shot. Leaning back just a touch. Very difficult to contest. Passes it to Russell. Bird outside. Off target from outside. There is some defense for you. For someone who's as good at shooting the three ball as he is, you, you need a defender who's equally good at guarding against him. Now, here's Johnson. Kobe passes to O'Neal and Shaq with the slam. And what makes Kobe next level? The instinct for the game. An ability to just see it before it happens. Here's Kuzi for the three. That one's in his first shot this game. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Bryant looking around. The feed to O'Neal. The rebound by the Celtics. And really, despite that miss, they've had a solid start offensively. Here's Kuzi, guarded by Kobe. Havlicek off target with his three. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Los Angeles Lakers. by Bird. Count that one. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. It's Bird, top of the key. Shoots over Johnson. Bird misses. Normally he'll drill that shot, and I'm, I'm sure they'll look to find him in that spot again. Well, no doubt. Very good play call, good execution. Sometimes it just doesn't fall. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Pass to Kuzi. Back to Havlicek. A three. Russell kicks to McKay. And there's the pass to Bird. Wow, through the contact and that three almost went in. So he'll go to the line for three free throws. First team foul. Austin shooting their first free throw. First trip to the line in this one. Larry Bird. He's at the line for three shots. And he's good on the first of three. Yeah, and every generation or so, a player comes along who can be considered a true superstar. Folks, that's Larry Bird. Makes it, and the next one could tie it up. He makes all three. This is what makes him a challenge to stop. He will beat you from the floor, and he can also beat you from the line. 
Outside Bryant. Outside O'Neal. Back to Kobe. Lock at six. O'Neal sets the screen for Kobe. Second chance shot, and it's Shaq laying it in. Shaq's got his second basket of the night. Uh, the strength of O'Neal uh, is otherworldly. West against Havlicek. Screened by Russell. Havlicek, the pass to Russell, and the slam dunk by Russell. And remember, Havlicek was a highly recruited quarterback, so you see his passing ability on that one. And the Lakers have possession. Johnson with it. Pass to O'Neal. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It goes on Kevin McHale. And the defender all over. First trip to the line for him here. He's off on the first. Over seven feet, big, quick, great hands. Shaq is a one-of-one one type of play. And he's good on the second. Here's Kuzi. No scoring in this one. He dishes it to Bird. Let's the free fly. It's rebounded by O'Neal. O'Neal's got four rebounds now tonight. West dishes to LeBron. Puts it up from 17. And Boston with the rebound. And this is a shot he can definitely make, and the defense not a factor at all. Kuzi passes to Havlicek. Nice ball movement by Boston. Havlicek with a screen on Shaq. Just four to shoot. McHale with the bounce pass. Johnson with the block. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. All oh, the officials are all over that. It's his first trip to the line. Shooting for Los Angeles. Johnson, two shots. That one falls for Johnson. That one misses, so he goes one for two. Boston Trail. Here's Kuzi. He has yet to score. Bird inside. Defended by West. Jerry West. First personal foul. Second team foul. it to Kuzi. Six on the shot clock and the three ball is good. It works well there. Not much resistance from the deep. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. And the basket by Johnson. 
and when you have this kind of size as a point guard, what a tremendous advantage. Magic can really match up with all five positions. Here's Havlicek, and oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Clearly a foul. The Celtics shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. At the line for the Celtics, John Havlicek. At the line for two shots. That's good from Applejack. Yeah, and among the many things to like about Hondo, he is strictly about the team. Willing to take on any role, he just wants to win. No good on the second free throw. Well, a little shaky from the line, and instead of putting them in front, he's only able to tie it up. Johnson outside. For three, West. That's in, coming off the assist from O'Neal. West has got five. I mean, that's what I'd call the prototype. When you talk about catching and shooting, West squares those shoulders, elbow in perfect alignment. Money. Now here's Burr over Johnson. And another miss by Boston. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. West outside. And here's Kobe for three. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. And showing the range there. Bryant is confident pulling from deep. Pass to McHale. Shoots over James. McHale, that's good. Such a multi-talented threat on the offensive end, and you love his confidence. Outside, Kobe. And oh, the block shot grabs it out of the air. Here's Kuz, defended by Shaq. Bird with the bucket. And now, just a two-point Los Angeles lead. And obviously, you know about the deep range, but Bird just as lethal, working the angles on the interior. So, timeout called here, the first for Los Angeles.
West against Havlicek. James outside. West setting the pick for LeBron. There's three pointers off the mark. And it's Russell with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Trailing by two. Kuzi passes to Russell. McHale outside. Havlicek outside. Russell a screen on West. Again, the Celtics good for two. Havlicek's gone two of four from the field. Havlicek against West. Shaq is screen on Havlicek. West misses. Break their offensive approach has been rock solid here. And they're finding the weak spots in the D and attacking it. And out of bounds is the Lakers gain possession. And a whole new group out on the floor for the Celtics. And Los Angeles with some changes. And here is Goodrich. Inside, Baylor, and Baylor throws it down. Oh, what a pretty pass. Throw to the open spot. Lead your teammate perfectly. White looking around. And the pass to Tatum from deep. It's rebounded by Baylor. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Abdul-Jabbar passes to Mikan, and it's Jason Tatum with the foul. That's his first foul. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. There's a good screen. Here's Goodrich. Cans it from downtown. Goodrich. And it's a five-point Los Angeles lead. Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Now, here's Tatum. Here's Cowens. And that's rejected by Abdul-Jabbar. It's stolen by Jones. The three from Tatum. That doesn't fall either. He's missed his first two shots tonight. Los Angeles leading by five. Baylor passes to Goodrich. Abdul Jabbar dishes to Goodrich. Kicks it to Baylor. Pass to Abdul Jabbar. Five on the clock from outside the arc. They get it again. And you're talking about one of the most decorated superstars in the history of college basketball. But maybe the most impressive feat. He won three national championships, and Kareem has a way of affecting winning. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Lakers. Absolutely dialed in from beyond the arc so far in this one. The defense is surrendering the long-range shot here early on. Yeah, and in addition, their ball movement has really unleashed their offense. Boy, they've been fun to watch. And he knocks down the first one. Both good from the line that time. Celtics trail by seven. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. We've got 113 left to play here in the first. Shot clock at six. It's Goodrich on the wing. Shoots over White. Again, the miss by the Lakers. Here's Boston now. Oh, 
44 seconds left here in the first quarter. Passes it to Jones. Over Goodrich. Here's Cowens. And there's the block. Just stops it cold and takes possession. Here's Goodrich. And Tatum pulls it down. Well, terrific defense. They obviously respect his ability and just want to make it tough. White inside, looking on Abdul Jabbar. For three, Pierce knocks down the three ball. Yeah, and how about Pierce there? Immediately squares himself up from outside, always prepared to rise and fire. Puts up a deep three. And that one released in time, but no good. And so the first quarter is in the books. Lakers lead by four. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. It's time for more of the NBA Finals on 2K Sports. What a time of year. And taking a look at Los Angeles' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing? Well, going to the bench early, they obviously knew what they were doing. As a coach, I think you get a certain feel for what your team needs. And credit this guy for not waiting around. He went ahead and made the adjustment. Here's Baylor. Taking a look at Los Angeles. We've got Baylor. He's out there with Goodrich. Worthy out there with Abdul Jabbar. And it's Mike in and at the force. Here's Pierce. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's going to go on James Worthy. And we know Pierce has the jumper, but you can also pound it inside with him. The Celtics shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. And the first one at the line is good. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. Baylor drives in. It's good. And the Lakers lead by five. And what's unique about Baylor, he can score from a variety of angles and really good off of either shoulder. Just great extension and body control. Listen, you give a good shooter that kind of look, and it's going to go in. Los Angeles leading by three. Baylor passes to Goodrich. Shoots over White. Rebound Boston. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. He is trying to shoot his way out of it, and it might be better for him to pass the basketball at this point. Some nice ball movement here by the Celtics. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Maybe he's not one of the elite sharpshooters, but even still, that's not a shot that he can afford to give him. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. Abdul Jabbar against Parrish. Just five to shoot. The shot by Abdul Jabbar, no good. And here's Boston. Well, Greg, I'm sure their coach is very pleased with their offensive flow right now. I mean, it's harder than it looks to get it going like this. Now they just have to maintain it. 
Boy, over the years, Tatum has really mastered the art of drawing fouls. For Boston, they have gone 5 of 7 from the free throw line in the game. Now the free throw is good, now leading by one. Well, what's impressive to me about Jason Tatum is how he attacks his weaknesses in the offseason. This guy is committed to greatness. He hits both from the strike. Now here's Goodrich. Abdul Jabbar, a screen on white. Pass to Abdul Jabbar. Back to Goodrich. And he lobs it up toward the rim. And Worthy throws it down. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. Now here's Jones. Tatum kicks to Pierce. Outside, White. A shot missing. Excellent D there from Goodrich. Here's Baylor. Down it goes for his third basket in as many tries. Well, you get exactly what you want right there. Clean look right at the cup. Nicely done. Tatum, that's for two. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Abdul Jabbar's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Baylor dishes to Goodrich. Worthy feeling it out a bit. To the paint. Marvelous lead pass, and he throws it down. And just one step ahead of the D there. Goodrich so crafty at getting his teammates involved. Feeds it to Jones. Shot from the top of the key. Up and in. Off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Now, here is Abdul Jabbar. Back to Goodrich. Five to shoot. And Tatum pulls it down. I'll tell you, his shot is just lost right now. There's just no consistency. Amazing that they're still up in this basketball game. Here's White. The pass to Jones. Oh, Worthy with the block. To the inside. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by White. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. And this is postseason play at its finest, refusing to give up shots here in the playoffs. From the wing, that one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. Goodrich has got five now. Boy, I don't think he'll get a screen assist for that pick, but they get the points, and that's all that matters. That one's good. The Laker lead is cut back down to just two points. The basket there coming from Jones. Great finish. What a setup. Terrific ball movement there. Now, here is Abdul Jabbar. Pass to Mikan. And here is Abdul Jabbar. Defended by Parrish. Four on the clock. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. Mikan, no good. And here's White. He'll bring it up for Boston. Pierce kicks to Jones. Down low. The kick out to Pierce. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. It's a close game here in Boston. To the middle. Here's Worthy. And finished off by Worthy. And really a good job spotting his teammate near the bucket and then just pinpoint passing for the finish. And now the first time out called here for Boston.
gentlemen. Celtics trail by four. Passes to Jones. Overworthy. Jones, no luck. And the Lakers with possession here. Now Goodrich. He's got five. Pass to Mikan. Kicks it out to Baylor. He's looking for Abdul Jabbar and finds him. Goes back up. And the layup is up and in. And the Lakers lead by six. Yeah, and they're shooting really starting to pick up here in the second. Here's Tatum. Boston again missing. Here's Los Angeles now. They're on a 12 to 4 run. There's the pass to Baylor. It's tipped to the right side. Six to shoot. Down low, Abdul-Jabbar. With the clock winding down, and the dunk by Abdul-Jabbar. And not much you can do defensively once Kareem gets the ball in that close. Too much height, too much talent. Jones against Baylor. Jones the best to Paris. The shot that time, not on target. Good defense by Abdul-Jabbar. On the wing, Worthy. Lakers pushing the ball around now. Back to Goodrich. Baylor against Jones. Pass to Abdul-Jabbar. Shoots over Parrish, and it's Abdul-Jabbar. That time on the assist by Baylor. Abdul-Jabbar's got the lead up to 10 now for the Lakers. Abdul-Jabbar's gone 3-6, shooting from the field, 50% so far. The three from Tatum. Rebound the Lakers. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Pass to Baylor. Here's Mikan. Left side, Tatum. Over Baylor, and there's the bucket from Tatum. Well, off the dribble, Jason Tatum continues to perfect multiple options in his arsenal. And the Lakers call time here. Completely new group for Los Angeles. Here's Los Angeles. They're on a 16-6 run. Ryan sets the screen for Johnson. Outside, James. Oh, 
back to Johnson. Pass to West. Just five on the clock. Los Angeles with another miss. That is fantastic defense on one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Didn't give him an inch of room. Here's Kuzi. Bird right side. Johnson with the block. They recover it. Another shot. Good on that shot. And with that, the Los Angeles lead is cut down to six in the bucket from Kuzi. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for Los Angeles. He kicks to James. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. It goes on Kevin McHale. Whacking James like the D does there is the right move. I mean, especially when you consider how strong he is. Los Angeles shoot their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. James at the line for two. Free throw good, James. What's remarkable about LeBron is the complete command of the game. Not only his team, but you'll hear opponents joke about how well he knows their plays. He's off on the second. Celtics trail by seven. He passes to McHale. And out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. Lakers leading by seven. Johnson with it. Five points in the game. The dish to Bryant. O'Neal sets the screen for Bryant. Los Angeles with another miss. Here's Boston now. Here's Kuzi. Five points in the game. Connects from three-point range. Here's Johnson. Bryant on the wing. the bucket and he's got a free throw coming up as well and one area where they've improved here in the second quarter is getting the ball in the paint that inside scoring has gotten much stronger and he's got his first chance at the line here Celtics trail by seven. Poked away. Kuzi passes to Bird. Over West. And again, it's Boston converted. And you got to love Kuzi's ability to really create opportunities for his teammates. Just a pure point guard with superior passing skills. West gets the bucket. And guys, there are some you can give that shot to. But, but let's be clear. He's not one of them. Terrible job there by the D. Here's Kuzi. Eight points for him. McHale outside. One fifty-three left to play here in the half. James again. What a thing of beauty from James. That is why the ticket price is what it is when LeBron is in town. Amazing dunk to finish the play. And great camera work showing up on the AT&T 5G Slam Camp. And here's Boston. It's a 10-point game. Time call time here. Out, the out. Celtics decide to talk it over. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. Well, poor rotations, poor communication. There's a lot to figure out right now.
Ranger Bars checked in for the Lakers. One left in the first half. Here's Kuzi, guarded by Kobe, and taken away by Magic. An even three-on-three -three break. Here's James. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. Celtics trail by ten. Here's Kuzi. He's got eight. There's a screen by McHale. And that one's good from Havlicek. Havlicek's got eight. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. Now here's Bryant. He's got eight. James. And Boston with the rebound. McHale's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. The pass to Kuzi. Here's Havlicek, and a miss there on the triple. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Pass to West. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Abdul-Jabbar. Good, and the assist goes to Bryant. Bryant's got three assists tonight. Abdul-Jabbar's gone four of seven in field goal attempts tonight. 57%. Here's Kuzi, defended by Bryant. Havlicek outside. Buries the long-range jumper. Havlicek's got five points now this quarter. Yeah, and that's his strongest trait, the unselfishness from Kuzi. Fantastic at realizing when one of his guys has an opportunity for a clean look. So we've reached the end of the first half of play. Lakers on top. They lead by seven. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. first half of this postseason contest, and it hasn't been a great game so far for the Boston Celtics. I haven't really seen the effort from them in terms of rebounding. In fact, at times, they're getting straight bullied. And that's certainly costing them right now. But effort is something you have control over. We'll see how they come out in the second half. seeing how things are shaking down for the Lakers. With the series at 2-1, they could take a commanding lead if they can get the job done tonight. Can't be a commanding lead if they lost a the game already. It needs to be more like a suggestive lead. I don't even know where to start with that. Despite what Shaq says, if they win, they'll be in absolute control of the series. Just so long as they're not being suggestive. Thank you for being with us. Now let's send it to Kevin Harlan for the second half tip. And we welcome you back to game four on 2K Sports. Without question, John Havlicek displaying his skills. Yeah, and just look at the numbers from the first half. He has been very efficient. I think they've taken their time. They've showed incredible patience. It's a sign of a well-coached ball club. We've got McHale. He's out there with Russell. Bird is out there with Havlicek. And it's Kuzi in at the point. That's the Boston Five. Here's Bird. A rebound by Kobe Bryant. And the way he was able to reach out towards that release 
had an impact. Well, no question. He altered that shot, and most of the time, that's just as good as blocking it. The Celtics trail by seven. Applejack outside. Inside. And Russell with the basket on the assist from Havlicek. Russell's got the first field goal, the second half for Boston. Johnson surveying the floor. On the wing, Bryant. They swipe it. And here's Bird from the arc. And again, Boston with the triple. Just such great consistency on that jump shot. Even though he's not always squared up, Bird terrific in the catch and shoot game. Now here's Kobe. Eight points for him. Outside, James. Johnson finds Bryant. And finished off by O'Neal. Guys, I feel bad for the rim on that one. Shaq is one powerful dude. To the paint. It's stolen by West. Pass break. The Lakers. A shot by Shaq, no good. Boy, as slow a start as you could have. Just one for four from the field. They're struggling. Takes it to Havlicek. Russell a screen on West. Shoots from the line. Got it, and the Laker lead has been cut down to just two points in the bucket from Havlicek. And guys, you got to know who you're guarding. You got to run the shooter off that sweet spot. And for Havlicek, that's anything in the mid-range area. Now here's Bryant. To the inside, O'Neal. The shot, no good. Nice D from Russell. Only 20% shooting in this quarter. They need to settle down and relax a little bit here. Kuzi with the bucket. Kuzi's got the game tied up here for the Celtics. Boy, excellent start to the second half. They've missed just once in five attempts. Los Angeles calls timeout. Defense, Boston. They've only allowed two points so far here in the second half. Here's Kobe. Sinks the 15-footer. Bryant's got 10 points. The defense has got to cover Bryant everywhere. Otherwise, he'll just keep finding looks whenever he wants. Here's Kuzi. 10 points for him. Bird outside. Pocket four. And the ball out goes out of bounds. Last touch by Bird. 
that is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. And that rejection had some mustard on it. Huge, huge play. And that block was something. It's the playoffs, and every possession and defensive stop matters. Now, here's Johnson. He's got five. Takes it inside. Stolen by Havlicek. Here's the break. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. This is it to Bird. Six on the shot clock. And the Celtics hit again from deep. Could there be any doubt? I mean, Bird's such a dead-eye shooter. Sometimes this guy practices threes with his eyes closed. Bird against Johnson. Shant dishing to West. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Pass to Havlicek. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that, which shouldn't be much debate there. And to look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Celtics. Well, I've been impressed with the ball movement all game long. They're really looking to just make that extra pass. I think the other thing we're seeing tonight is the floor spacing of this team. Boy, they are shooting the cover off the basketball all game. First free throw is good. And he makes both free throws. Lakers trail by three. Johnson outside. Screen by O'Neal. And Bryant kicks it to West. They get a hand on it. And so it looks like the Lakers will retain possession here. Lakers ball. On the wing Johnson and it's Bryant in the corner and good coming off the assist by Magic Johnson Kobe's got it all tied up now for Los Angeles here's Kuzi he's got 10 the pass to Havlicek Russell is screen on West Havlicek kicks to Russell yeah way to play in attack mode and get to the line for Boston, they have shot 9 of 11 at the free throw line. At the line, Bill Russell. At the line for two shots. First one falls for him. And so Russell hits them both. Impeccable from the line since halftime. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for Los Angeles. Brian finds James. Lobbed up there for O'Neal. Now you see LeBron James' selflessness on display. He loves to make his teammates feel good. So it's Boston now. Pass to Russell. And here's Bird for three. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. 
Bird's got nine points here in the second half. And, and you can see he's found his rhythm here in the third quarter. You can just sense time the time uptick time in confidence. Time. Everything he puts up from long range seems to be going. And the Lakers call time here. Johnson, five points in the game. O'Neal passes to West. Right side, Kobe. Kobe Bryant! So good at finishing through contact. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Outside, McHale. Down to five on the shot clock. Bird. Good D by Johnson. Just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really eluding him. So they take the lead. West has got 11 points. And that's what you get when you combine the range and just his overall confidence. Mr. Outside. Now here is Bird. 16 points for him. Rebound the Lakers. Johnson's got six rebounds here tonight. And, and got to like what they've been doing down low in the post. James wide open. And the three off target. Boston trailing. Bird the pass to Kuzi. McHale up top. On the wing, Havlicek. Defended by West. Passes to Bird. The three. Cranes the three-pointer. Bird's got 12 points now in the quarter. And he's caught fire from long range here in the second half. Left side, Kobe. Back to Johnson. The Lakers moving the ball around. Johnson the screen. LeBron, good. From way back there. I mean, LeBron's just showing off now. Timeout called the Celtics. Celtics. The fans will get a Come on, everybody, make some
Here's White. Pass to Tatum. The Los Angeles foul. Jamal Williams. First personal foul. Third team foul. White on the wing. He's covered by Goodrich. And the clock. And for the ball out of bounds, Davis touched it last. Lock it two. And the aggressive attitude of Davis on D makes him such a tough matchup. He's not going to give his man an inch of breathing room. And that was the difference on that possession. That's what we call a power finish. There's no such thing as gentle for the big man. Wide up top. He's covered by Goodrich. Tatum on the wing. Helps with the rebound. Well, defensively, if you allow him to get this close, you're playing with fire. He just happened to miss that one. And that one is hammered home. Oh, and this is some serious showmanship. Loving that tomahawk right there. Craig, he came with force, and that's not just about getting two points. That was sending, I think, a message. Now, here's Paris. Still scoreless. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw level. And a chance for just a second now to check out the scoring breakdown for the Lakers. They've been playing some really physical offense, just attacking the paint as much as possible. And I tell you what, they have been very successful with that strategy. And they've also been scoring on the break with how difficult it is to get buckets in the half court. Any time you can push the ball in transition for easy ones, that's big time. The first one falls. Good on the second, so he makes them both. Los Angeles leading by four. Now the pass to Abdul Jabbar. Dishes to Davis. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. First personal foul. First team foul. Here's Wilkes. Pass to Goodrich. Like it's hits. Yeah, and really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. Second personal foul. Second team foul. Outside, Davis. Passes it to Goodrich. There's the pick. Fires for three. And Tatum pulls it down. Celtics trail by four. Baylor with the steal. Here's Goodrich. The rebound by the Celtics. Outside Pierce. Outside Tatum. There's the three. Helps with the rebound. I'll tell you, you hate to pin this on one person, but his inefficiencies at the offensive end are holding this group back. And that one is good. And that's a shot Davis will make 10 out of 10 times. He's just so strong inside. Baylor against Pierce. 149 left to play in the third. Shot clock at five. 
he trains it as the shot clock ticks down. Pierce has got six. And not being as aggressive from the three-point line anymore. That They had a lot more attempts in that first half. Back to Goodrich. Here's Wilkes, guarded by Tatum. Here's Goodrich, and he's good on the three ball. Eight points for him. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Now here's Tatum. He's covered closely, and it's good from the elbow. Tatum's got his second basket of the night. Now that mid-range jumper is so on point. Jason Tatum is a three-level scorer. Back to Goodrich. Outside Baylor. Pass to Abdul-Jabbar. Shoots over Parrish. There's Kareem Abdul-Jabbar on the assist by Baylor. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. White against Goodrich. Tatum wide open. He fires one. Drops in the tray. Man, that's sure got to be a load off his mind after not hitting a single three-pointer in that first half. To the middle. Tries from seven. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're uh, just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. Beyond all the things Baylor gives you, he's an entertainer out on the floor. The acrobatics we see, something spectacular from this guy almost every game. Tatum deciding where to go with it. Over Wilkes. Off target with the jump hook. And so it's Los Angeles heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. Right back after this break. And while we can, now let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, a terrific, unselfish play right here. Set up his teammate. And how about the setup this was? How about the secondary playmaking you are getting? Great to have that from the shooting guard spot. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. And so it's Pierce with it. He brings it up for the Boston Celtics. They trail by seven. Taking a look at Los Angeles. Baylor is out there with Goodrich. Then it's Kareem. Then there's Davis. And it's Worthy in at the small four. Here's Collins. He kicks to Parrish. Shot clock at six. And here's Tatum for three. It's rebounded by Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Abdul-Jabbar's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. And now running up the court. Pierce pushing it up. He feeds it to White. And that comes off the assist by Pierce. And his passing is probably the most underrated part of his game. Pierce is a terrific playmaker on that wing. Now here's Goodrich. Inside. Abdul-Jabbar against Parrish. Down low from 12 feet out. Abdul-Jabbar can't get it to go. Celtics trail by five. Here's the three. Anthony Davis with the rebound. And here is Los Angeles now. They've led by as much as 10. Looking for Baylor, and he gets it there. A 
Abdul Jabbar. A screen on White. The pass to Abdul Jabbar. And Boston with the rebound. Pierce feeling it out of it. White against Goodrich. The three from Tatum. The three from Tatum. No three pointers for him in that first half, but the second half, different story. White against Goodrich. Left side, Abdul Jabbar. Kicks it out to Baylor. And again, the Lakers no good. Austin trailing. Here's Tatum. Here's Pierce. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. Stolen by Pierce. No good. That would have tied it. Pierce has gone two for five, shooting 40% from the field here. And pushing it up. Here's Boston. Here's White. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Davis. That one on Davis. First team foul. At the line for your Celtics, JoJo White. At the line for two shots. Makes it, and the next one could tie it up. And team-wide, they've been terrific from the line here. Just one of those nights when the confidence has spread from one player to the next. One drops, he ties it up. You want to contest this guy's shot, but you absolutely don't want to send him to the line. He will make you pay. Worthy finds Davis. Wow, came this close to a four-point play. Led to the line for three free throws. And really one of the most challenging covers in our game. Davis, hard to guard given how versatile he is. No good on that one. Good on the second free throw. nails the third and really if not for the miss they'd be sitting in a much better position and white kicks to tatum pass to collins here's with the screen on davis and there's the drive just five on the clock the shot by collins no good that is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game Right, the pass to Parrish. And it's Parrish finishing it off. That's a stomach punch, guys. Mm. Turn it over and give him a free run to the bucket. Oh, you're so right. No question who has the momentum now. It's still close, though. These teams have been neck and neck. Let's see the response here. And here is Los Angeles now. After the basket by Boston. Passes it to Goodrich. Basket is good. The assist from Worthy. Assist goes to Worthy's got three assists now in this one. 
And so it's Pierce with it. He brings it up for Boston. Boston. Here in the fourth, they've allowed just four points. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Group substitution here for the Lakers. James checked in for Anthony Davis. Bryant comes in for Worthy. West is checked in for Baylor. And it's Johnson in for Goodrich. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Hi, Kevin. Well, the head coach for the Celtics talked to his team during the break. Now, they preached the little things in the huddle. They asked their team to battle on those 50-50 balls. One extra possession could be all the difference. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Los Angeles on D. It's stolen by West. From the arc. And that's collected by Burr. Absolutely tenacious guy. Stuck right on him defensively. Bothered that shot. And the slam dunk by Russell. And the relentless nature that is Bill Russell. Always working for the best scoring opportunity. Won't find one better than that. Now here's Johnson. He's feeling it. And Bryant the bucket on the assist by Johnson. And the Lakers lead by two. And that's right in his wheelhouse. Looking to make an impact when it counts. And this is a player who understands when the game is hanging in the balance. He knows it's winning time. Offensive rebound. Now LeBron has to Bryant. Bryant is double. Here's West, covered by Havlicek. Floats it up for James. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Shoots from 12. Again, the Celtics good for two. How about that move? Is this guy special or what? Just love watching him operate inside. Ryan against White. High arcing shot. Basket number eight is all good. He's attempted 12 shots. Well, this guy flat out carrying the load for them offensively. He is taking and making good shots. What a terrific job. Pavlicek against West. Releases. And it's Boston with another. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy. It takes activity. It takes intensity. Now here's Kobe. LeBron outside. Kicks to West. Back to LeBron. Rocket six. Abdul Jabbar. It's double team. Here's Chains. And that comes off the assist by Abdul Jabbar. Boy, LeBron James is making that. Wow, good luck. Because when he's dialed in and shooting the ball, there's no defense that can deal with him. Now, here is Bird. McHale, right side. No luck that time on the shot that would have put them on top. 
Kobe on the drive. Lightning quick off the bounce. Bryant, one of the better athletes to ever play this game. The pass to Havlicek. And another basket for Boston. The Lakers in the lead. Johnson with it. Here's Bryant. And it's sent back by Russell. Man, guys, this is where instincts come into play. So much you have to read defensively. Russell not fooled at all. O'Neal's check in for Abdul Jabbar. They double team Kobe. And it's West in the corner. Drills it from outside. And with that three, three his points. second of the half, he's equaled his total from before the break. Here's Kuzi, defended by Bryant. Applejack outside. Here's Russell. Yep, it counts. There is an imagination, a creativity. This guy's passing drives the offense. And here is James. O'Neal outside. Over Russell. Almost, but it rolls out. Celtics trail by three. Here's Kuzi. Russell dishes to Havlicek. On the wing berth, he's guarded by Johnson. Four on the shot clock. Here's Kuzi. Out to Bird to tie it up. Good on the triple. Bird's got the game tied up here for Boston. And guys, there are two types of stars. Uh, I mean, the guy who makes himself look better and then there's the guy who makes his teammates look better. Russell is clearly the latter. Here's Kuzi, guarded by Kobe. Here's Havlicek. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. He had six points from long range in the first half, but nothing's falling here since. Johnson kicks to Bryant. Pass to LeBron. That's good, and it's Kobe with the assist. Kobe's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Celtics trail by three. Now, here is Havlicek. Pass to Kuzi. Back to Havlicek from deep three-point land. The long distance three is built. Havlicek's got 24. Watch out. Now that he's got his first three of the half, he more in store. Los Angeles timeout, calls timeout. timeout without question. John Havlicek displaying his skills. Boy, he's really had their number. They need to make some kind of adjustment during this timeout. Here is our time to make some noise for Boston Gold.
Johnson outside. Knocked loose. Stolen by Bird. The feed to Havlicek. It's stolen by West. Pass break. The Lakers. O'Neal finds James. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Always willing to embrace contact. LeBron James has the kind of frame that can absorb it any time. LeBron James taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good, LeBron. And both free throws good for LeBron. He is absolutely the guy you want at the line in that situation. It just shows you how much he loves these moments. Here's Kuzi on the wing burden over Johnson. Here's Russell and the slam dunk by Russell. And, and this is the problem. The, the length, the timing. Russell, one of the very best at corralling misses and turning them into points. To the paint, stolen by Bird. And there's a minute 45 left in the fourth. Kuzi passes to Russell. Here's Kuzi. Havlicek outside. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. Bryant, that's a two-pointer. And again, the Lakers, no good. And they're in position to take the lead. And how big would a bucket be at this stage of the game? Bird's shot is good. Has anybody ever personified excellence in all areas of play the way that Larry Bird does? But more importantly, he's got that clutch deep. From deep, Johnson and Boston with the rebound. 103 left here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Kuzi. And the aggressiveness on display here from O'Neal. Terrific at turning shots away with that size and length. against Johnson. Here's Kuzi. He gets hauled in by LeBron. A three ball. A shot by Johnson. No good. And if they know what's good for them, that's the way they'll defend against him every time he takes the ball in the three-point lane. McHale outside. Tipped away. Stolen by Magic. Points are an absolute must here. And no time to waste. Not at this point in the game. Out of bounds. Boston takes possession. And out call the Celtics. They're up by two. Six seconds left to play here in the fourth.
six seconds left in the game. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. Yeah, you, you can't let them hold the ball and just milk those last seconds away. And they go to the intentional foul. Shaquille O'Neal, third personal foul, third team foul. At the line for the Celtics, John Havlicek. At the line for two shots. It's the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. Second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's a four-point ballgame. You've got to show composure, and he comes through right when the team needs him most. And the Lakers call time here. They're down by four. Five seconds left in the fourth quarter. Is what's your take? And you know what? They're not ready to give up yet. They'll try to intentionally foul if they can get a quick hoop. Five seconds left in the fourth quarter. Yes! And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. And this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor space. And right now, Greg, he is doing a great job delivering for this team. Productive and efficient. Team ball. At the line. John Havlicek. At the line for two shots. First one drops, and that will put them up by two. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a three-point game. Boy, it doesn't get much bigger than that. A perfect trip to the line to give them the critical three-point portion. What a poise. And so it's Boston sweeping by with the win. This was a crucial game for him, tying up the series at two apiece, Greg. A, a huge accomplishment. In this series, I think he was going to pick up game four, Kevin. I mean, now it's a three-game series, and anything can happen. Game four of the NBA Finals is all wrapped up. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And now, we present the New Balance Player of the Game, John Havlicek.